Elcro, the company that has given us many accessories for the Raspberry Pi, has now launched the Crow Pi. It is a fully funded Kickstarter, and they sent me one of these units to review, so let's have a look. I wanted to start the video just showing you off because they have beautiful photos here. I was sent the purple one. We'll see it in just a moment. It does look as good as the photos. Like, why? Why would you get this? And basically, it's an all-in-one tinkering kit. And uh, I really like the photo. They have a photo of a bunch of kids using it. And I can just see that being one of the main... Yeah, I mean, to buy one of these, it, it's, it's the same cost as an expensive textbook. And if I wanted to learn coding or I wanted to teach my kid coding, I would way rather them have this than a textbook. So first off, I really think that's like the number one use for this. Does it do retro gaming? Yes, for sure. You can, you can have a portable retro gaming out of this. So it kind of does double duty. So what this does is it puts it all on one board for you. So like you can buy a breadboard. But then you have a loose breadboard in some box somewhere in your house. It's not portable. Um, you need to keep track of all these different things. What this does is a one board here. You could fit a Raspberry Pi Zero or Raspberry Pi 3, and it has access to everything you can think of from ultrasonic, touchscreen, IR sensor, tilt sensor, ultrasonic sensor, DH11 sensor, which could tell you like uh, humidity, uh, vibration sensor, RFID module, you can add a, a Bluetooth controller to it. You could do, you know, the possibilities are limitless as they advertise here. So whether you are a student, which like I said, I think it would be huge for, for classes and students and, and institutions to buy this for their, to have for the companies, but also if you like to tinker or you wanna learn coding, this is gonna force you to learn Python. Like you will need to learn how to write a basic script. And you know, if you're an experiential learner, this is gonna be amazing for you because you can actually see your code in action and what it does. So you can learn you know, what typing does, what parentheses do, the order of the code, all that stuff can be learned with this kit. So it does come with these CrowPy lessons, so a, somebody can go through all these lessons from using the buzzer, how a relay works, send vibrations, controlling the LCD display, controlling your servo, servo motors. So it does come with somewhat of a textbook and a, a get started guide. Uh, a lot of these scripts are based off of Adafruit and other GitHub scripts that are you know, readily available on the internet, but this does give you kind of like a, a, a dictionary or a textbook to go off of versus having to go seek this all out manually. So it is kind of a, there is a service here in that they have um, identified the correct model number to the correct script giving you the correct resources and the correct information. So there is a value added there. The other thing is the manual. They do give you a really great user manual as well, which tells you how to set it all up. Uh, this is what I was telling you, you know, before you would literally have to do all this and look at all these parts. This is basically after. So what they've done is something that would normally be crazy and hectic like on the left, they've simplified it over here on the right. Uh, as I mentioned, beautifully designed. It is really heavy duty, high quality. It does protect everything inside of it. Here's all the different sensors on there. It gives you even more in information. It also gives you installation information, how to write the image. You can even power it with a portable battery. That is possible. And then getting everything up and running. So here it is, the Crow Pie. I was sent a purple one. I actually think it's cool. It's a ABS plastic. It has uh, aluminum around the outside, and then the it has plastic inside um, for the uh, bezels. And as you see, it's got the HD screen. You're going to see shortly the screen is actually really nice. It does have speaker ports, but this particular model, because it's the basic, does not use the speakers. And as you saw earlier in the video, you saw all the different adapters that's included in it. Now, um, here's some add-ons that were included to get the uh, GPIO connector. So whether you're using a Pi Zero or a Raspberry Pi 3, you are hooked up. Um, also note you get a USB for all your sensors, you get a power for your Pi, and then you get the HDMI cable for your video. Now the um, Pi Zero uses a micro um, HDMI, so they have a little adapter here, and basically you just unhook the ribbon cable and then a Pi Zero can fit on. So this could save you some money um, on the actual Raspberry Pi unit itself.
But um, as you see, whether you're using a Pi 3B Plus, Pi 3B, or Raspberry Pi Zero, they're all going to fit in there just fine. Now, something you'll see later in the video is the there's the Raspberry Pi 3, by the way, all screwed in. But um, you know, with the Raspberry Pi 3, the SD card faces that little back corner, and it's actually quite hard to get in there. I'm hooking up the power cable now, which is included. You hook it in the upper right corner of the board, and then there's a little power switch to the left of that. Now, you know, you guys know me. The first thing I'm gonna run on this thing is uh, RetroPie. Just get that running. Um, you're gonna see in a moment it runs great. The only thing is there's no sound because I don't have speakers. Now you have two options there. You can add some headphones and just play some headphones, or you can install speakers or buy the advanced model of this and solve that problem. Now, um, it's great portable system, really nice. It folds up. Um, you would need to put your controller somewhere. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is just put an Xbox 360 controller on there, but if you have a Bluetooth controller, that would work, uh, depending on which Raspberry Pi you're using, or uh, you use a wireless fob as well. But I'm just going uh, wired for this particular video. And basically, you're only using the screen here. You're using the power bypass through the board, and the screen, um, most of these sensors and everything else are gonna do nothing for you when, you when you're gaming. But the idea is that, you know, if you are getting this for a kid or for a project, it do it's double duty. You can use it for gaming, you can also use it for projects, um, storage, um, fun, and just fun in general. Like, it's a, it's a hobby tool. You'll see here a couple of the add-on items. We have the remote, we have the RFID, we have a step motor, we have a servo motor, um, and then we have all the adapters uh, as well. Now I'm booting up on their custom image. It's about 15 gigabyte image. I just burned it on an SD card and it's gonna boot up in Raspbian. And uh, this is gonna come pre-installed with a lot of the Python scripts already for you. You can either run those in terminal or you're gonna see what I've done is I just hook up a keyboard and a mouse and I'm gonna double click on the Python files and then launch them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and so there you go. It's a pixel desktop. And um, it's just like, it has Chromium, so you can watch Netflix. It has uh, Snake, it has Minecraft pre-installed. All the stuff you typically get. Now here's a zoomed in shot of the scripts. There's an LCD script, a vibration script, a depth meter script, um, something for your LCD matrix script. You have a sound script, a vibration script. You name it, there's a little script for it. There's samples. And then you can also code all of this yourself. They're all based on Adafruit's um, scripts so they're easy to download easy to get um, you can see here I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the the step motor which is one of the add-on accessories and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it for a little spin in a moment here but just to show you running one of the scripts now this video could be really long showing you all the different you know features from the LCD LED matrix to the LCD uh, font to the timer uh, to the buttons, to the LCD blinking uh, options. It has a touch meter as well. You'll see that, that uh, you can get it to uh, run a code every time you touch a certain thing here. And to, um, to show off this motor, we're just gonna put an SD card on there so you can see that it is, in fact, spinning. And there it is, it's stepping. So this could potentially like unlock a door or do all sorts of interesting things like that. You know, the, the sky is the limit here. A lot of possibility. And if you're a kid, this is awesome. So there you go, this is the Crow Pie. This is the Kickstarter, link in the description if you're interested. Um, I was sent one of these models for free. I would say the screen is gorgeous. It is really nice to have all these things in one spot. It's a little pricier, but if you look at the quality and everything you get, it really is a all-inclusive kit. Now, if you don't need all of this stuff, you might be better off just buying what you need. It's way cheaper. But if you are going to use all these things or you are trying to learn how to code or you want to make a great present, this is really cool. You know, if, if you, you know, I don't know what you guys spend on presents, but if it's somebody close to you and want to get something substantial, this would make a really great gift. Now, as far as gaming, you're better off just going out and buying a 10 inch screen and building your own little portable Raspberry Pi thing. But as far as having an all-in-one gaming screen, it could do uh, coding, all this other things, it's pretty cool. And there's nothing else like it in the market that I'm aware of. So for all those things, that's what I think. If you guys are interested, link in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.